Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a weekly reading for the 8th of April through the 14th. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. It may or may not resonate. We'll see what happens. This is for the week of April 8th through the 14th for Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? Isn't that a beauty? That is a new opportunity, right? This is a this is potential for something big. Somebody has manifested something. Somebody has manifested something really, really big. You could be receiving a gift from somebody. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this is something you can touch, right? This is this could be money. It could be money, but it also could be could be anything. Whatever this is, this is something solid. All right, could last. This is big. Uh oh, page of Pentacles reversed. Whew. Don't lose your focus just because you get it. You know, try not to get too distracted. You know, I know it's a big offer. You're probably going to, you know, you're going to receive something and it's really good, but you could lose your concentration because of it. Don't, don't, don't go overboard. Just saying. I mean, you don't want to lose it just as fast as you get it because you get distracted. So beware. Don't, don't waste it. This is absolutely a gift. Now, didn't we talk about this in the last reading? I can't remember the readings, but somebody was getting a gift. I thought it was you. This is a gift. This is a blessing wish fulfillment so I'm telling you what just just be careful okay try not to get overly excited you know take your time with it there's no need to hurry I whatever this is I think that this is a true blessing and you may feel overwhelmed with it maybe not overwhelmed maybe you just get too excited and you know just be careful you know because this is this is truly something that you've been wanting okay this is something you have manifested and this you you asked for it and they're giving it to you so that is the manifestation they're giving it to you this is you in the middle <laughs> you know getting so excited that you lose your focus and you know to be careful all right oh my god this is this is meant to be whatever it is whatever you're getting it's destiny it's a, it's it's good it's a lucky break you're receiving something really 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 good Gemini really good this is meant to be okay you took the time to manifest it you called it in you called it in right and the in the you, you know you, you may have thought that it was never gonna come just saying I'm mean, gonna tell you a little bit more about this position I'm looking at. Anyway, you may have thought that it wasn't going to happen, but it is happening. It's here. Now Now it's happening. And here we have a total, total lucky break. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. This is going to change your life, whatever it is. It's life-changing. You may have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a... Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this person is emotionally unavailable. This right here, this is the challenge position. So wonderful. Emotionally unavailable. You know, you may feel like this is too good to be true. Maybe this person has shut you down. Maybe this person has not communicated. You know, maybe you may feel like there it is too good to be true. You know, but this is a son of a gun. I can't even get over it. There is some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. There's some sort of, somebody has received some sort of epiphany, some sort of awakening. Now they're going to come forward with the truth about, you know, their desires, their wish. Okay. This is major. Okay. It is major. It absolutely is major. These are all, all four of these cards are majors. Okay. It's a major change in direction for you. Um, there's, this could be a past life connection for some of you that is coming together. This could be somebody from the other side bringing people together. This is, this seriously, this, with both of these cards, this is heaven sent. This is heaven sent. So whatever this is, 
you know, you are receiving a true gift. I, I can't even stress that. Now, this is these are these are two tens. It equals twenty. This is a ten. This is a life changing completion. That is, you are starting a new life. This is like resurrection. Okay. This is this is a, you know, the end of what was, a whole new beginning for you. Your worries are over. I think you've been through a very painful situation. You've endured a lot of hurt and suffering. There's definitely some sort of fear, fear of taking a risk. You may you may feel like this is too good to be true, honestly. You might think this whoever you're dealing with, <clears throat> you know, this is this isn't this is too risky. This is uh Too good to be true. I mean, I can't think of any other words other than the, there's 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 fear of of accepting it. I mean, this is what you wished for. This is what you asked for. This is getting getting exactly what you want brought to you from heaven. No kidding, you know. And but but you know, there's it's a feeling of you know your fear is that this won't get off the ground. Your fear you have fear of taking this risk. You have fear of you know this change. Yes, change is scary. Change is scary. I feel as though. You know, um, you got to let somebody love you. I don't know where that message came from, but I feel like this is, is truly a, a blessing. You're receiving some sort of blessing. Don't let your past pains, whoever, maybe you were dealing with a person. This is kind of like the challenge, the past. And this is, this is the, um, environment, the, the, external right now it's like you are feeling you know you're gonna let the past hurts don't let the past hurts stop you from taking this risk with whatever this is this person is not the same person they're not don't 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 let those insecurities that this person caused you to have cause you to put up your barriers because there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. So I really feel as though you have a change in direction that is being brought to you from this is a luck. This is good luck. This is this is this is fate. It's destiny. They're bringing you this reward for the suffering that you've been through, but you're going to have to make the right judgment call and not let the past hurts, the past person, whoever you dealt with that didn't know how to love, stop you from starting over, whatever that means. Anyway. Whew. You know, five of pentacles reverse. The dark period that you have been through is over. It's over. I'm here to tell you it is. It is over. Okay? It is. It is. It's coming out of this darkness. And you don't have to... You don't have to put your guard up anymore. It's time to release. I know that you've been... Grow you've been, you know, thinking it was never going to come. Here it is. Here it is. It's here. The time is now. It's here. This is your dream. It's a wish. It's something you, you wished for it. You manifested it. You called it in. And now it's here. Um, I feel as though you have, pro you know, you, you, the past relationship is over. It's over. It's over. And now you have an opportunity to start another one. To build a new legacy. To build a new relationship. You know, whoever you're dealing with, they've been watching you. They have been watching you and they uh, are probably going to communicate how they truly feel. So I feel like there is absolutely an offer of love coming in. I think that it could lead to true love. It's, I think it's a past life connection. I think this is brought to you from above. I think that your ancestors or their ancestors or whatever are bringing two people together. And this is a... This is an offer of love that you wished for. I'm not kidding. So, um, well, it might make you feel weak in the knees. It may make you feel weak in the knees. A 
Look at that shit. The lovers reversed. You may have a choice between two people. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Somebody from the past may also want a reconciliation for some of you. Be careful. Be careful. You may, you know, you may have this new offer of love. You have this new wish fulfillment. And now somebody perhaps from the past comes back. A past karmic contract comes back to, you know, steal your energy <laughs> to bring you down. So beware. Beware. They may see that you have a new love. I don't know who that's for. Um... Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. I feel as though you have an opportunity to change your direction with somebody new. And there could be somebody else that wants, doesn't want you to move on. Just be careful. Um, you, I think for a lot of you, you have a choice between two paths. And, and for one of them, for some of it, could be between a water sign and an earth sign. I don't know. Could be anybody. Could be an Aquarius. Could be anybody. I feel as it could be Leo, could be anyway. We don't need to keep going with that. I feel like you. are definitely going to be receiving an offer of love, maybe from two different people. And you're going to have to be careful. Don't be foolish. Don't be naive, okay? Don't be naive and think that whoever this person is that didn't love you in the past is... You know, somebody from the past could be watching you, honestly. i got to be honest with you here. They don't want you to let them go. They don't want you to give up on them. And so they're coming with a fake false offer. So be careful. Be careful. I think you got two offers. I think you got one from, you know, whoever you're destined to be with. And then you got the other one who you're not meant to be with. And you may be, and that may be the, the one that you're holding on to in your heart. You know, maybe that's the one that has hurt you. And that's the false contract. They've, they've, they've brought you down. Don't, and, I, and that's right over here over that three of swords. Don't let this negative thinking don't let this false contract hinder your progress with wish fulfillment okay let go of that pain let go forgive that situation let it go because you got an offer of love here so this person may not actually communicate with you the person from the past they may or they may not i don't know this could just say don't let though the the, the that person that lowered your self-esteem that lowered your self-worth that made you feel insecure hold you back from this destined partnership you know whatever it is you have an offer of love here don't let the past get in the way that is the message this is a huge huge opportunity this is something that you wished for it's here you're going to receive some sort of uh truth from somebody about how they truly feel about you a true blessing happiness is right here extreme happiness it truly is a blessing it truly is So, you know, I feel like you are coming together with somebody that is making you will make you very 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 happy don't let the past get in the way. Whatever, however that resonates with you, please. I feel like we have a, a past karmic contract that doesn't want you to be happy. They see that you're changing your direction. They see that, you know, you're falling in love or whatever the case is. And they're like, huh, you know, they're jealous. No, I can't make this shit up. You know that I can't. Six of Cups. I cannot make it up. There's a and, and there's a past life connection here too. So you guys are in for a real treat. Whether it happens now, any time from now until summer, but I think it's now. I think it's now. The time is now. I do. 
I think you have received a blessing and answer to your prayers. And now the past is here to mess it up, mess with it. I feel as though you also have a past life connection with a true love. A soulmate. So get ready for some fun. Um, we're going to get you guys one of these. I am going to get an angel romance card or two for you. There's a karmic contract from the past that probably doesn't want you to be happy. They see your happiness. They see your growth. They see your glowing. They see they see your, probably they see your love, whether it's self-love or that you're in love with somebody else. You know, you know how people get jealous and they, you know, don't want to lose their supply. So beware. Anyhow, if you have a soulmate connection here, I think with somebody that you have known before, I think that um, this person, both people, I think that, well, for, for especially, you know, you're going to receive communication from somebody. One of them is a dream come true. One of them has no love to offer. Be careful. Wedding. <laughs> this situation involves marriage. Be prepared. This could lead to marriage. It absolutely could lead to marriage. I think that you are receiving a real solid, stable, long-term opportunity from somebody that you've been praying for. Oh my God, that's marriage too. So be prepared. Be prepared. You could you could be you could be uh, uniting with a, a true soulmate that you could end up you know being with forever till death do us part. Your feelings are re real. I can't speak. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, yes. Maybe you decide to you know go on a little retreat with this person and just. You know, whatever. Be careful. Don't get pregnant or anything. But, well, maybe you want to get pregnant. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I'm good. I'm done. I'm old enough anyway. I'm good. Anyway, we have, an, we have love here. True love. A true love connection. I mean, that is what this is. We have a true, true, true love connection here. So. An offer of love is coming in. Gemini. We got two. We're not going to take two. We'll just put them back in the shuffle again. Oh, interesting. Isn't that funny? Aquarius got this as well. And, um, <laughs> unbelievable. I just have to tell you this really quick. No, I'm not going to. My Gemini, I mean, Venus, my Venus is in Gemini. Aquarius got this as well. The the, the 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 man that I am dealing with, his Venus is in Aquarius, so that's interesting. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I probably shouldn't have told you that, but I just did, so too late now. Anyhow, um, discover your life purpose. You watch your Venus sign for love. Just so you know. Discover your life purpose. Start asking yourself, what is the meaning of life, of your life? As a soul who is having a physical experience, you are here to grow and learn. You are being asked to immerse yourself in this life by expanding, stretching, and understanding your reasons for being here. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following her or his destiny. Your guides, angels, and higher self are constantly communicating with you through signs, feeling, people, books, etc. Follow your hunches. You are being given important guidance, which may show up via a strong feeling to travel somewhere, to speak to someone, attend a seminar, write, paint, etc. No matter how far-fetched your inner guidance is, you need to listen. Your soul's purpose includes a combination of experiences that your mind doesn't understand, but that your soul needs to process to learn and grow. 
Some of these experiences will be enjoyable and heightened. Others will be challenging and cause you to struggle. But through them, you will know yourself. Give yourself permission to focus on what really makes your heart sing and put your intensity of emotion into attracting what you desire. Now, you guys have attracted a soulmate, and that is the truth. Don't let the past mess it up, whether it's memories of the past or the past comes in to mess it up, whatever. Don't let them. Don't let it. Good luck.